Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process for losslessly trimming video using FFmpeg. So FFmpeg is a command line video editing tool, and I'll put a link in the description to some FFmpeg notes. And on that page, it has instructions on installing FFmpeg on different systems. So I have instructions for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So if you don't understand what lossless and lossy is, lossless means you're not degrading in quality. So imagine you take a document and you copy it on a photocopier, and then you copy the copy, and you copy the copy again. Eventually that will degrade and it will not look as good. So when you take video and you encode it, it's the same thing. It can lose some of the quality. So when you losslessly process a video, you're actually retaining the quality. So what we want to do is we want to take a video and we want to cut parts off of it and retain the full quality. So I have previously used tools for this. A recent one I've done was VidCutter and I've had some trouble with it, but it's a graphical tool that will do a similar thing. So I have a video here and it's of a train. So if I start playing it, it takes a while for the train to show up. If I drag along here, we can see the gate goes down and then the train goes by. So say I just want to clip this so I just have the train going by. So this is GoPro video and we're looking at it in the player and the timestamps in here are kind of hard to read. I don't know why they make them like that. So I'm going to take this video and I'll open it up with VLC. So if I do that, I can look at the timestamp in VLC. I'll drag this forward a little bit. And about the one minute mark, we see the train. And then if I go forward a little more, at about 1.30, the train's gone. So I want to trim that area. So I have my terminal open here, and I have my video on the desktop, so I'll go to my desktop. I'll type FF play space dash I space and then G O P R seven seven five four dot MP four. That's the name of my file. So here I'll type dash SS, which means start and then space zero zero colon zero one colon. And I said the one minute mark, but it was actually one minute, I think two seconds. So I'll do this at one minute, two seconds. But what we're doing here with FF play is we're going to view the video. And at this point we can tweak this and adjust these numbers. So we'll type space dash T and this is our duration space zero zero colon zero zero colon colon 30. So what we're saying here is start this at zero hours, one minute and two seconds, and the duration is 30 seconds. So if I hit enter here, this will play the video. So what we can do here is we can preview this and see if this is the clip we want to cut. Now I want to say when you're doing a lossless cut, it has to line up on a keyframe. So it may tweak the numbers you put in, in the background, and you may get a little bit different output than you specify. But there's not much you can do with that when you're doing lossless processing because you have that limitation. So if I played this all the way through, we'd see the train would end up at the very end. So I'll clear my screen here. So I like these parameters here, but at this point, if I didn't, I could tweak them. And I went into VLC, but if you have an idea of where your clipping needs to be, you can just do that here. You can open up FF Play, punch the numbers in, try them, and then tweak them. So now I want to use these parameters to cut the video. So I'm going to type Control A, and I don't know if you can do that on all platforms. I know Linux and Mac you can. Windows, you might have to just cursor to the front, but. I'll change this to FFmpeg, and then we have dash I in the input file, and we have our start and our duration. Now I'll type space, and here we would normally specify our codec we're using. So we could say V codec space, and then we could say lib x264. I spelled that wrong, but you get the idea. But we don't want to actually re-encode this. So we'd say V codec and then copy, and then we'd say dash A codec space copy. So what this will do is this will copy the video and the audio without actually changing it. So an easier way to do this still is to just say codec space copy. If we say dash codec space copy, it will copy the video and the audio codec. So that's a little tip you can use. You don't have to type both of those in there. Then I'll type space and then I'll type the name of the file train and I'll do underscore clip dot mp4. So I'll hit enter here. And this should happen super fast. The reason that's happening super fast is because we're really just copying things. It's not doing a lot of processor intensive stuff. If you can look here, the speed here was 40x speed. If we're encoding, that would be way smaller. It might be one or even less than one. So I'll clear this. I'll type ls space dash lh. And I forgot to mention, I'll put a link below to my website where I'll have the ffmpeg command if you want to copy it from there. So we can look at the original file here was 694 megabytes and the clip is 215. So we're quite a bit smaller. We can type ff play train underscore clip dot mp4 and here we're showing just the clip and this might be a little jumpy this is a 4k video and i'm on a 2015 macbook pro and it's a little bit slow 
That reminds me of a good point though, is that we were just processing this 4K video on a Mac that may not necessarily be able to play 4K video perfectly. Well, this is all on the command line and this just copies the file. Well, the way this works, it doesn't really need great video capabilities to actually do this trimming. So you could do this exact same script, this FFmpeg script on a really low powered Raspberry Pi computer and it wouldn't flinch at all. It actually could even be somewhat fast. It's essentially as fast as the storage on your device can go. So that's the nice thing about FFmpeg is you can process these large videos on some kind of lower end hardware and even if it was doing processing you would just have to walk away and let it do it and you come back later it will probably eventually finish and we can also double click on this to open it it might run better in QuickTime. i'm not sure yeah it was a little bit smoother in QuickTime than it is with ff play so it will do that clip from one minute two seconds to 4 30 seconds So the reason you might want to do this, it, well, here's an example here. You have a train, and I'm waiting for the train to go by, so I have the video going, and I don't really care about the video before the train coming. So I have this long clip before. Well, I can cut that out, and well, I can cut out the video that I want and just keep it, and I can get rid of the other stuff, but I'm not going to lose any quality if I do this losslessly. So this is a good process for a, your master video that you're using in a project, is you can go in ahead of time, and I don't know that I would do it to cut off tiny amounts, but if you have, say, an hour-long video and you want five minutes of it, this is a way to cut out that five minutes and not lose any of the quality. So I'll add this clip into the video so you can watch it natively. I've used this video clip in many videos. It's my kind of a sample clip that I like to use. So I have that link I mentioned below with my FF FFmpeg install notes. On there I also have some other sort of like recipes on how to do things in FFmpeg so you can check out that page. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.